Town. I'm joined once again by our general counsel here at Long Crime, Elizabeth Vulai, but also I am joined by criminal defense attorney Nima Romani. Uh, good to see you. Thanks so much. Happy to have you both here. Uh, Nima, I'll start with you. I mean, the idea of a May 2025 trial date, and we talked about it before on the show that Sean Combs, if he thinks he's going to be locked up, Obviously, he wants to go to trial as soon as possible. I, I get it. He's kind of putting the prosecution's feet to the fire. But you heard Elizabeth, terabytes of data, all this to go through, a production schedule. This really going to happen in May, this trial? Probably not, but Diddy's lawyers may want to jam up the government. If they think there's any chance they're not ready in terms of presenting the electronic evidence or getting their witnesses lined up, it may be part and parcel of the defense's strategy to push this case to trial as quickly as possible. Obviously, we know Combs is in custody, so there's really no point for him to wait. We know that the defense case is going to be limited. When Judge Subramanian asked for a time estimate today, the prosecution gave three weeks. The defense only gave one week, which means that they're going to base this case mostly on cross-examination. So yep. what they probably want to do is push this case as quickly as possible because we know under the Speedy Trial Act, unless they waive time or time is excluded, the government technically has to get this to trial within 70 days. So let me just follow up on that. If he's hit with a superseding indictment, right, and we don't know what those charges could be, we don't know if there could be multiple defendants, we don't know if they're respect to potentially minors, no, am I crazy to think that there's no way this trial is then going to happen in May? It's unlikely, especially if there's a superseding indictment involving minors, because minors present a completely different set of circumstances. Because we know through his lawyers, Combs is arguing that the sexual activity happened, but it was consensual. Of course, for sex trafficking, you need one of those three elements, force, fraud or coercion. Obviously, minors cannot consent to any sexual activity. So that would be a very different defense entirely. The defense would have to be that the activity didn't happen at all and the individuals are lying. So I think that's going to be the potential game changer if we do get the minors wrapped up into a superseding indictment. And we know, at least if you believe the civil attorneys, there are 25 minor victims, one of which is as young as nine. And those suits haven't been filed yet, but that's what Tony Busby, this Texas attorney, has indicated that we should expect to see in these lawsuits.